but um, maybe Sarah will be able to answer this. Well, I was hoping actually. she might be able to look at these pictures and bring your expertise oh, to the no. table. We're talking about, Sarah, a hay nado. Oh, this is when yes. you cross dry grass and strong winds. See that? Wow, yeah. Impressive, isn't it? Well, I can tell you, sorry to burst your bubble, but it's not actually a tornado, that one, because a tornado forms uh, from the base of a cloud and comes all the way down to the surface. But what that is, it's just a localised whirlwind effect. So a whirlwind goes from the ground upwards, whereas a tornado goes from the cloud downwards. I'm so, just checking where yeah. it is. That one was in uh, Leicestershire. Leicestershire, apparently. Yeah. 150, 150 feet high at its maximum height. Amazing, gosh. And there were, so there were whirlwinds around like that hay nado, but there were also actually a couple of funnel clouds and tornadoes spotted across parts of Scotland so, uh, yesterday. So can I get this right? Because I love learning new things about weather. So a tornado, yeah. the winds come from top down, top down yeah. to the earth. A uh, whirlwind right. from the earth up. Absolutely, so yes. That was a whirlwind. That's just your science lesson for the day. And if it comes from the cloud but doesn't quite touch the ground, that's a funnel cloud. And we had some of those yesterday too. Fabulous, we've learned. Thanks, Sarah. What? But I want to look back, first of all, at some of the dramatic weather we saw during Friday, because in parts of Scotland, vicious thunderstorms spawned some funnel clouds. This one here in Fife looking like it touched down on the ground, making it a tornado. And you